Right, uh, 2.8b, uh, this one has some interesting questions. Uh, let f be continuous function and a table is given, g be the inverse of this, which is blah, blah, blah. okay. f of 2 is pretty straightforward, there is nothing to do with inverse over here. So, f of 2, what is f of 2? The value of f at x equal to 2, right? And x equal to 2 is right here and the functional value or f of 2 is just 9. So, I replace f of 2 with 9. And now what is f of 9? So when x is 9, we can clearly see that the functional value is 15. So the answer is 15 over here. Uh, g of 11, now just be careful here. g is the inverse of the function. So when they say g11, you are, and you are reading the curve of, reading the table of f, you're actually looking for the y value to be 11. Because remember, uh, x and y positions interchange in case of a function and its inverse. So since g is the inverse and since we are looking for x value in the inverse, we are actually looking for the y value in the original function and the original function has a y value of 11 right over here. So it will return uh, an x value which is 5. So the answer is 5 over here. Likewise, g of 9, I'm looking for y value of 9, which is right here. Here, it is very easy, you know, to, to fall into the trap because you have 9 here and here both. I mean, 11 was already here in the entire table. So that was, you know, pretty, may, uh, pretty much intuitively guiding. But 9 is, you have to be careful that you're looking for 9 in the y corner and the corresponding x coordinate is just 2 over here. Uh, g of 9, uh, I think we already did that. G of 9 is uh, 2. So I'm looking for 2 over here. So G of 2 is right here. And then G of uh, 2, again, the Y coordinate is 2. So Y coordinate is 2. The corresponding X coordinate is negative 1. So the answer is negative 1 over here. Okay, this is F inverse of F of 5. So F of 5 is pretty straightforward, right? Um, F of 5 is here. Uh, I mean, x is 5, so x is 5 is here, so y is uh, 11 over here, so f inverse 11, and f inverse 11, again, be careful, f inverse means this is pretty intuitive, right, because they, I mean, here at least they have written g, so could be a little confusing, but here is just f inverse 11, f inverse 11 means you are looking for y coordinate of 11, and the corresponding x coordinate is your answer, which is, of course, just 5. And actually, I mean, okay, I've done the work for you, but this is actually a property that f inverse of fx is actually just x or f of f inverse x is also just x. So right away, you could have written, had you knew this property, um, uh, you could have written, you know, just five right away, but it, it's, it's fine. Now we know how, what the work looks like. Okay, and the last one is f inverse 2. Again, y coordinate of 2 is here. The corresponding x coordinate is negative 1. So the answer is negative 1. Okay, uh, h is defined over here. h inverse is the, uh, obviously, h inverse is the inverse of it. What is the maximum value of h? Of h, right? So there is no funky stuff here, just h. So don't you think the maximum value of h is just the maximum value of y? I can just see that it is 7, right? It is 7. So 7 is the maximum value of h. Now they're asking what is the maximum value of h inverse x. So you, here you have to be careful that the maximum value of the inverse function is basically the maximum value of the x coordinate of h function. Because like I said, x and y values interchange. So another way of asking this question is what is the maximum value of x? You have h inverse x is, of course, after all, the x coordinate of the uh, original function, right? So what is the maximum value of x? Isn't that just 11? So the answer over here is just 11. I hope you understand. Here, the maximum value on the left in the question 7, they were asking why. Here, they are asking maximum value of h inverse x, which is basically just the x value of the h function. All right. Uh, same graph. Is that the same? Yeah, that's the same graph. H inverse 5. H inverse 5 is basically, we have to look for 5 on the y-axis of the h function because x and y interchanges. This is the y value 
this is where 5 is and the x coordinate corresponding x coordinate is my answer and the corresponding x coordinate is just 0 over here. So the answer is 0. H inverse negative 2. Likewise, I need to look at negative 2 where the y coordinate is negative 2 and the corresponding x coordinate is clearly 9. So that's the answer over here. That's 9. Here, h inverse of h inverse of negative 1. So h inverse, don't make the mistake of using this property because this is like f and f inverse. Uh, th these are double inverses, right? So be careful. H inverse of negative 1 means what is the x coordinate at negative 1 y? So negative 1 is y over here having an x coordinate of 7. So I'm looking for h inverse of 7. And now where is the y coordinate of uh, uh, 7 over here? This is right here. And at 7, the corresponding x value is negative 4. So the answer is actually for this one, negative 4. Okay. Uh, Again, I think a similar question, what is the minimum value of f inverse? Minimum value of f inverse of x is basically the minimum value of uh, x, right? Because x and y interchanges position. So minimum value of x, as we can see, is 4, is negative 4. The answer is negative 4. We can also see from here. And what is the maximum value of f inverse? Maximum value of f inverse is basically the maximum value of x, which is just 8. Okay, here we are looking for f inverse 4. So I need, and this is the curve of f, uh, f function. So f inverse 4 means where is the y coordinate? 4, y coordinate of 4 is here. So what is the corresponding x coordinate? That's my answer, which is also 4 over here. So the answer is 4. f inverse 7 means I'm looking for y coordinate of 7, which is right here. So y coordinate 7 means the x coordinate is right at this point, which is 8. So the answer is 8. And likewise, negative 6, sorry, 6 is over here. The corresponding y co x coordinate is just 7 over here. So the answer is 7. What is the domain of f inverse? Domain of f inverse is basically the range of f, right? Because the domain and range interchanges. Uh, what is the range of f? As we can see, that range are the y values. So it starts right from negative 3 and goes all the way to 7. So the domain of f inverse is basically the range of f, which is uh, negative 3 to 7. Those are the y values. And range of f inverse is nothing but the domain of fx, which is, which is right here, right? We don't have to make any extra effort. The domain of f is right here, which is negative 4 to negative 8. So the answer is closed uh, brackets uh, negative 4 to 8. Okay. Here we are given a graph and a table. We need to analyze both. So the graph represents g, the table represents h. A g inverse is the inverse of g and the values of decreasing function. Okay. h of negative 2, that's pretty straightforward. When x is negative 2, h is 4. So I'm looking for g of 4. Uh, g of 4, the graph of g is already given, so no funky stuff here. Uh, I'll just say x when x is 4, g of 4 is obviously y value, which is just 2. So the answer is 2. h inverse 4 means I'm looking for the y value, where the, wherever the y value is 4, and the corresponding x is my answer, which is uh, negative 2. So the negative 2 is our answer. H of negative 1, uh, the straightforward case, whenever x is negative 1, uh, that's my answer. Do you think there is a negative 1 here anywhere? I don't see any negative 1, right? H of negative 1, there is x is negative, x of negative 1 is just, uh, well, it doesn't exist. So I will say they are also asking if possible. So I'm going to say this is not possible unless I'm reading something incorrectly, which I don't think I am. But anyway h inverse 2 h inverse 2 do i see any 2 in the y value right h inverse 2 right in the y value inverse means uh, inverse means the y coordinate do i see any 2 over here no i don't so this will also be not possible